Today, I will be speaking on behalf of a community who cannot express their needs. ALS and other ventilated patients cannot move and cannot talk. They all have perfect minds, but they are locked in their bodies. The current communication devices are cumbersome and requires the screen of the computer in order to communicate. And therefore, they are not available most of the day, when the patient wakes up or basically whenever he is not calibrated to the screen of the device. Four years ago, our co-founder Shai Rishoni had a vision to enable every ventilated patient the ability to communicate anytime and anywhere. Eye control has three advantages. First, it is wearable, it is always on you. Second, it is screenless, so that for the first time the patient has eye contact while communicating. And third, it is simple to use. We originally developed the eye control for the ALS community, and then we expanded to other relevant cases, such as people after stroke, spinal injuries, and basically every ventilated patient at the home care environment. However, each one of us might need the eye control after a surgery or a medical treatment. More than 6 million people are visiting ICU departments in the States only every year. 40% of them cannot communicate with the medical staff because of the ventilation. We established the company in 2016, and then we had successful clinical trials. We achieved the CE, FDA, and the medical ISO. We signed contracts with the Israeli government, the NHS, and we have two CMS codes in the United States for reimbursement. And in the last year, we've been using the device in the ICU environments for patients' communication. The COVID-19 has created a new reality where ventilated patients can barely communicate with the medical staff, and of course, they cannot even communicate or meet their family members. The eye control is assisting to close this gap by enabling remote communication for the first time between the patient's bed to the nurse station, and of course, with family members that don't even have to be inside the hospital in order to communicate with the patient. However, the biggest op impact and opportunity of eye control to assist with COVID-19 patients is around ICU delirium. ICU delirium that is estimated in over $100 billion costs every year in the United States is the condition when patient wakes up, they are confused, they don't know where they are, they are disoriented, start to hallucinate, and that leads to longer staying in the ICU and unfortunately higher death cases. One of the ways to prevent ICU delirium is to communicate with the patient, to keep him oriented, by sending him family voices or even playing for him music. And this is exactly what we are doing these days in different ICU departments with key opinion leaders in order to demonstrate that eye control can assist with decreasing ICU delirium and hopefully even prevent it. And together we will change this reality. We will give ventilated patients their voice back.